Hello everyone, this is Monique Morrow and I wanted to talk with you a little bit about uh, my last blog which was about uh, digitization being more than a buzzword in, in our society and in corporations and in organizations and in um, countries by way of, of thinking. Digitization, it means uh, all different things to different uh, folks and what digitization is not about, it's not about uh, uh, retrofitting uh, an IT world um, just as a, what I would call kind of a cleanup job. Uh, it's more about providing fluidity in terms of what kinds of tools are going to make it more effective for us to use in a corporation. Uh, why do customers care? Perhaps we're thinking about uh, moving even further from um, agile to real-time uh, processing of data uh, for for purpose but also for timely release of goods and services. So you know there, there can be a benefit here. Uh, it also means uh, looking at how we can retrain and upskill the workforce uh, in terms of providing the tools necessary for the people to um, carry on in a digitized world, whether it is through augmented reality, uh, through, a, uh, through artificial intelligence and machine learning. Uh, this is all about what it means in terms of skilling and education. So on one hand, you know, we are looking at uh, digitization in terms of fluid fluidity of information processing in terms of uh, providing timely release of, of goods and services for cus uh, customers and organization and also of up uh, skilling the workforce rather than sort of putting people out of work. I think it's really important that we avoid um, putting people out of work uh, unless people knew, no longer want to work anymore but I think that upskilling is going to be or micro learning is going to be something that we have to uh, think about doing in this ever ever digitized uh, world that we're living in. I believe at a country level we're looking at you know uh, what it means to have a government as a service. I have a very close colleague Daniel Gasteiger of Procevis.ch uh, in Switzerland who was leading and paving the way on an e-government uh, service model for Switzerland and other countries. Um, he is tackling for example a very hard problem which is e-voting mechanisms and creating sort of a trust uh, model there. Uh, we've seen and heard a lot about what's happening in Estonia uh, with Casper Corgis and e-residency and we are also looking at what's happening in other countries like Liechtenstein, like Singapore. So certainly there is a model in terms of moving into uh, to what an e-government as a service can be. So digitization is paving its way throughout our society and it means that we're always going to be learning. Uh, what digitization um, also means is that creating trust in an organization such that people don't feel threatened of that they're going to lose their, their jobs and, and people don't feel that uh, they should uh, actually not participate in the process itself because it, it can be and will be an exciting opportunity for all of us. So uh, remember one thing, I'm really going to be very, very interested always in, in your feedback on your views of digitization what it is from your perspective, what it isn't, and how we can all learn from one another. Thank you so, so very much, and have a great week and a great day. Thank you.